Hola, estudiantes. So before we take a look at the verb ser, we need to review our pronouns. Pronouns in Spanish are very important. We need to know these pronouns. They are the foundation for everything we do. So just in case you do not know these pronouns, you need to learn them right now. Okay, so here we go. The first person, you know this one, it's yo. That's I in Spanish. Yo soy la profesora. A cool thing about Spanish I want to mention quickly is that it is a pro-drop language, which means that the pronouns are optional. So I can say, yo soy profesora, or I can simply say, soy profesora. Okay, moving on to the second person. We have tu. Tu is you familiar. So a friend, family, someone I'm familiar with. Tu, with an accent over the U. Third person, we have el, he. Notice the accent over the E. Ella, she. And then we have usted. Usted is you formal. We use usted with um, someone that we respect, a stranger, someone we don't know. So for example, with Dr. Anderson, we'll use usted. With a police officer, we'll use usted. Um, and with our teacher, we can use usted. Let's move on to the plural pronouns. We have nosotros. Nosotros is we, and that can include both boys and girls. Vosotros is the you plural that's used in Spain only. It's kind of like the Spanish y'all. Third person, we have ellos, which is they, which can be all boys or boys and girls. Ellas, which is they, all girls, feminine. And then we have ustedes. That's what most of your Spanish teachers are going to use for you plural. Ustedes is used as you plural in Latin America. Uh, ¿Cómo están ustedes? How are you? All right, now we're going to actually get into the conjugation of the verb ser. You've learned, hopefully in Spanish, one. The verb ser, it's probably the most common verb in Spanish, and we're going to use it mainly this year to talk about to use those adjectives we've learned, talk about what people are like, talk about someone's profession. You also use ser with de to tell where somebody is from. Yo soy de Colorado. Yo soy de los Estados Unidos. So we're going to use ser to explain I am or he is. So for the breakdown of this verb, it is completely irregular. So you guys are just going to have to look at this chart and work on memorizing it for each individual person. So first, we have yo soy. That's when you're talking about something describing yourself. Tú eres. That's talking about a friend, talking directly to someone. I, if I was talking to you right now, I said, tú eres un estudiante. Usted, él, or ella, you use with es. So that can be applied to all three of those different um, pronouns. Then we have nosotros o nosotras. That's when it's a group of girls. So if I was talking about all three of the teachers, if I was in a group with all the teachers, we would say nosotras, and that is somos. Vosotros, or vosotras, is sois, and ustedes, ellos, and ellas, you use son. So it's soy, eres, es, somos, sois, son. And if you guys want to pause really quickly and work on pronouncing those individually, and then we can talk about them more in class tomorrow. I'll probably write them down, because you're going to need to know these. And I think it's important for you kids to also know, yo soy is I am. Tu eres, you are. Usted es, you are, formal. El es, he is. Ella es, she is. Nosotros somos, we are. Vosotros sois, y'all are, like they say in Texas. Ustedes son, y'all are, in Latin America. Ellos son, they are. Right. Okay, now we have a few ejemplos de ser. So we're going to go through just a few examples of what can be, ser can be used for. Yo soy muy deportista, dice Usain Bolt. I am very athletic. Tú eres muy talentosa, Misty May trainer. You are very talented. Missy Franklin es de Colorado. This one is talking about where she's from. Justin Bieber y yo no somos amigos. Oh, qué triste. Sí. Y los estudiantes de Monarch son inteligentes. That's sí. a description. You guys are all very intelligent. Now we come to the fun part where you get to practice. 
This is a perfect time for you to hit pause. Hopefully write down, you have those notes that you wrote down with the five conjugations of soy, eres, es, somos, sois, son. I guess that's six. So hopefully you have all of those written down and take a minute and just answer and try and go through and see how many of these you can get correct. All right, welcome back. Now we're gonna go over the answers. Mi amiga, and even though we didn't talk about this earlier, anytime you're talking about one person, like he or she, it's conjugated the same as ella or el. So here we have, mi amiga es muy bonita. My friend is very pretty. Ellos son inteligentes. So with ellos, you have to use the verb son. Tú eres muy simpático. You are nice. Marcos, and this is again an example of using a name instead of the pronoun. Marcos es bajo, pero nosotros somos altos. Marcos is short, but we are tall. And the last one we had was yo siempre blank perezosa. Yo siempre soy perezosa. And even though we had the word siempre in between yo and soy, it still has to be put in the yo form. I am very lazy in art class. That's okay in art, but let's not see it happen in Spanish. Gracias. Please bring any questions you have to class tomorrow.